Singapore, the Singapore government has extended its deep condolences to the family of the late Jack Yun Thong. In a statement on Wednesday, June 6, the Prime Minister's Office PMO, said Mr Jack, a key member of the People's Action Party PAP, Old Guard, contributed significantly to the building of modern Singapore. He passed away peacefully at home on Sunday, according to the statement. In accordance with Mr. Jack's wishes, his family held a private wake and a funeral, PMO said, adding that the funeral was on Tuesday. Mr. Jack, a member of Singapore's first cabinet, was one of ten ministers who signed the separation agreement in 1965. As a key member of the PAP Old Guard, he served in multiple capacities in the cabinet and in public service, and contributed significantly to the building of modern Singapore, PMO said in the statement, as a mark of respect and in recognition of Mr. Jack's contributions to the nation. The government has ordered the state flag on all government buildings to be flown at half-mast on Thursday, it added. Prime Minister Lee Shien Long has also paid tribute to Mr. Jack in a letter to his wife. In the letter, Mr. Lee said one of Mr. Jack's biggest political contributions was mobilizing the Chinese-speaking ground to support the PAP's vision of a non-communist, multiracial Singapore. Pioneer Minister Jack Yun Thong at the People's Action Party 60th anniversary event in 2014. Photo, Facebook, People's Action Party. He also helped draft and win support for the 1968 Employment Act, which Mr. Lee described as a key milestone in building harmonious labor relations in Singapore, without which we could not have attracted investments and industrialized rapidly in the 1970s. On a personal note, the Prime Minister recalled that when he first entered politics in 1984, Mr. Jack, a member of parliament for Queenstown, was friendly and generous to the younger MPs. After he retired as an MP in 1988, he continued to stay in touch with old comrades, and I was always glad to see him at reunions and gatherings. He wrote in the letter to Mrs. Jack, Mr. Jack's passing is a deep loss to the nation. My thoughts are with you and your family during this time of sorrow. President Halima Yaakob said that Mr. Jack had the foresight when it came to building the foundation for Singapore's foreign policy. Singapore owes much to Mr. Jack and their other founding fathers for their untiring dedication and desire to do what is needed for our nation to thrive. Today, we enjoy the fruits of that effort and stand in debt to Mr. Jack and the other founding fathers. Our thoughts are with MDM Huang Kek Chi and the family during their time of grief, Madam Halima said. Other ministers have taken to social media to pay tributes to the late Mr. Jack. On Facebook, Environment and Water Resources Minister Masago Zhu Kaifali recalled him as someone who had often raised the issue of wealth distribution when he was a backbencher in Parliament, while Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chan Singh called him a pioneer who was always dedicated to serving Singapore and Singaporeans. Minister for Culture, Community and Youth Grace Fu said that she will fondly remember him for his unwavering commitment. He added that Mr. Jack, who had organized Singapore's first Chingay Parade, had strongly believed in the power of the arts to transcend barriers and bring Singaporeans closer together. The Prime Minister's letter is reproduced in full below.